Kenya's hair care market is valued at over $200 million, with weaves and hair extensions largely driving up sales. Georgina Kirungo is the entrepreneur behind Nuela Creative, a one-stop shop for all things weaves. CNBC Africa's Christine Wendo caught up with her. 25-year-old Georgina Kirungo is the chief executive officer at Nuela Creative, a business founded on her passion for hair care. I found good quality hair 22 years old, and I felt that there was a, there was a niche market that would appreciate and value very high quality hair at an affordable price. So at that time, I started small because I was still in uni. So I started with less than $100, and I was able to first order the hair. Then as I sold, I grew. The more I, the more I sold, the more I could buy. Nuela Creative is a chain of luxury hair boutiques that offers a range of beauty services and specializes in selling premium hair products. The hair is real virgin hair, so it's sourced from country of origin. So whether it's Peru or India right, or Malaysia, in its raw form, then it's taken to London at our head offices where it's then manufactured into wefting for weaving, uh, full lace wigs for wig lovers, uh, frontals and closures for the perfect hairline finish um, or clip-in extensions which have become really popular. In all our stores we offer hair products of very very high quality which help you maintain your hair and enjoy the experience of having uh, virgin hair. We also provide tools for styling your hair. We provide services such as coloring your hair extensions, restoring them, washing them for you which is really important because it makes clients life a lot easier and we have a lash and brow parlor now which focuses on your eyelashes and your eyebrows if you like individual lash extensions if you like strip lash extensions cluster lash extensions if you like enhancing your eyebrows in terms of eyebrow tinting to make them darker um, or shaping them we offer those services within all of our stores since its inception in 2014, the business worth has expanded to more than $300,000, driven by demand from Kenya's emerging middle class. So our business has grown really fast. Um, I think as a team, we're really surprised at the demand, and sometimes we feel like it's a bit difficult to cope. And we've managed to open three stores in two years. Uh, we started very small, we started doing deliveries. Um, from a car to then a small space to then our first space in Westlands, which was in uh, 2013, March. Uh, from there, we had a lot of demand in Gong Road area, so we moved then to Greenhouse Mall. And then we felt that there was still more demand in other areas like Thicker Road, so we've moved here. And we're about to come to Two River soon, in a, maybe a month or two. Customers have to part with between eighty to $2,500, depending on the type of hair product they desire. The seemingly high price is a testament to a very specific target market which doesn't mind splashing big money to achieve the ultimate look. The market has responded well, of course, um, but what's most important for us is our customers. We have a specific customer who has a specific need and that need is premium quality and premium quality comes at a price because the hair can be used for various purposes, you can achieve various styles, waves. Um, you can achieve various colors all with the same hair and you can use the hair for up to three to four years if maintained correctly and so we focus on that niche market who appreciate the value of our hair. Kenya's hair care market has however not been spared by the effects of an influx of counterfeit products but Georgina maintains that the customer driven urge for authentic products continues to be the lifeline of her business. First of all it's a problem that I think all luxury brands globally have to deal with um, so it's something that we already expected uh, but I feel that we don't focus so much on the imitations because of our client our client is a connoisseur in hair extensions so our client fully understands the difference between a fake product and a genuine product I wouldn't say that it's difficult to tell from face value because all you need to do is run your hands through that hair and feel it. Genuine hair is very light, um, but we do feel that our clients, they understand the difference. And so we just focus on that and focus on ensuring that our clients have continuous, um, amazing experience in our stores, experience with our hair extensions, and we just focus on that and we focus on our return clients. So far, Georgina has been named the Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 by Contour Africa and aims to grow her business regionally in the next five years. I do see us expanding to at least five shops um, 
and I do, I do see us going regionally. At the moment, we're not going to expand services. They're going to remain, but they're going to grow and become more convenient for all of our clients so that it's easier for them to access and to find us. If you're on one side of town, we want to be there. We don't want to make you go to another side of town.